On the Wado Radio Show. Of course, it's DJ Wado. It's the Wado Radio Show. It's more than music. It's ministry. WadoRadio.com online, of course. And listen, man, we got the big homie from the West Coast repping that hog mob. You might have seen him with the God Over Money crew. But Seven is on the line, man. Seven, what up, bro? What's modern my G? Man, ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing. This new single you got out is probably what's really mobbing because it's all over the place right now, dude. And God is good, bro. Definitely God is good, homie. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So how you been, dude? Oh, I've been blessed, man. I'm just uh, getting ready for, you know, this tour and stuff. So it's been, this grind is crazy, homie. You know, you be working like. You know, for anybody who thinks they want to be in this game, man, you better get ready to never sleep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I'll be working like, you know, 15, 18 hours a day, my dude. So yeah. it's, it's, it's rough sometimes. But, um, yeah. God, you know, God give you the strength, man, and push through it. I got you, man. Um, y- Your tour, man, I, you, were, you were telling me about this before, and I thought it was real interesting um, just the way you're moving with it because it's not – the regular tour in the sense of, you know, going to venues, ticketed event, boom, 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 boom. This is really more of, I would almost say like a urban missionary trip across the United States, man. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's exactly what it is. You know, I, I, we blended the concept of, you know, mission trips and tours together. Yeah. As far as, you know, just, just as far as like bringing concerts, you know, that, that, that concert aspect to it, but it's, it's basically, um, just a mission strip, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's really where my heart is at. I'm, I'm, I consider myself not to be a rapper at all. I mean, anybody who really knows me knows that music is probably the least of my priority. It's the, it's probably what I spend the least amount of my time doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, um, I, I, I liken myself, you know, to, to, to really be more of a missionary that just can rap from time to time. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. it's beneficial to what we're trying to do. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, homie. I got a good team. You know, a couple of guys I've been discipling, you know, they fresh off the turf and give them the opportunity to see the Holy Spirit move place to place. And then, you know, some other cats that I've been able to, um, you know, bring with me that kind of um, been been stuck behind the four walls but have a heart for the street. So it's really giving them the opportunity to walk in the lane that God's really call them to you yeah. know without feeling like they have to be a certain way for certain opportunities and stuff so yeah man it's, it's lovely man shout out to uh you know the the stockton dream center too man the lord put it on their heart to kind of shadow me on tour and bring like a team of like 15 people bro that's just gonna like help serve and stuff so it's it's been it's dope man i ain't never had support you know like this before and so um, i'm just looking forward to what god's gonna do man wow so man um, I didn't even know that. And me and you had talked about even trying to bring this to to this North Jersey area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Newark yeah. in particular, man. Um, how many like how many stops are you trying to make it? How long you know will this tour slash missions trip last? Yeah, yeah. The, the missions trip is going to be from uh, it's from May till whenever. You know what I'm saying? Like as of right now, it's four months long. But I mean, it could it could continue. You know, I ain't I ain't tripping. Like whatever God wants to do, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, we we I might not never come home. <laughs> you know? I, I don't know what's gonna happen, homie. You on tour for me? life? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. But no, nah, it's um as, as of right now, it's about sixty. You know, sixty five. You know, um, we got a few more tentative, so it might even, you know, the potential to be upwards of like 70 different um, events, you know what I'm saying, um, different cities and all all urban neighborhoods, you know, um, all outside, you feel me? So um, we're just, you know, if, if it ain't really, if it ain't going to be in the hood, man, we don't even want to come. Wow. That's what's up, man. Um, That passion you have for... You know, just ministry in that environment, man. I know it's birthed out of what you came out of, bro. And um, mm-hmm. you know, for those that don't know your story, man, just talk about you know your your early life and you know you coming up and you know you getting saved yeah. and then getting into the music, man. Well, you know, I I came up. Um, it's, it's it was strange, bro. Like my story 
I don't I don't think my story is any more I would say like dynamic or whatever than anybody else's. I don't I don't really you know I feel like we all go through what what's necessary to get us to where we need to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, but my story is just kind of unique, man. Just with the way that like you know both my my parents you know um, ended up getting you know they was into drugs and all of that, but they ended up getting born again when I was really young. You feel me? And ended up getting married. And um, despite, you know, their hardships of marriage and stuff, they actually stuck it out. I mean, they still married to this day, you know. So it, w- it was crazy. Like, I grew up in the church, but then I also, you know, um, my mom, my mom's, you know, not from Cali. My pops ain't from Cali. So I'm also, like, the you know, being the oldest, I'm, like, the first generation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cali boy. Mm. So, and, you know, growing up with no uncles, really, no aunties that you hung out with, no no cousins that were around. Like, I mean, I was, like, really by myself, you know what I'm saying, in that respect. And anybody who was from, you know, the uh, 80s baby like me, you feel me, and, and understands the, you know, what, what California, I mean, it was like and even is to this day, you feel me? Um, back then, though, I mean, to be by yourself in them environments, you know what I'm saying, and not have nobody really that teaching you anything about how to survive or nothing like that. I mean, it, you know, I, I'm just, uh, it's a blessing that I'm even here right now, you know what I'm saying? So um, I, I got caught up, you know, um, I remember, it, it's crazy, I, I was teach, talking in Bible study the other day, and you don't realize certain things when you till you get older, you know what I'm saying? I remember when I was a kid watching older cats, you know, sniff coke off, off off coffee tables when I'm mm. hanging out at their house and stuff. But as a kid, I didn't really understand what that was. You, you know, know now that I'm older, I'm like, man, these dudes ain't had no shame. You know, I remember, <laughs> you know, they used to they used to give me uh, pixie sticks and teach me how to snort lines off the table. You know wow. what I'm saying? And they'd be like, oh, yeah, we just we just sniffing candy. You feel me? And so it was like, you know, I, I, like a lot of the things that I experienced as a kid because I didn't have, you know, anybody explaining it to me. Yeah. You feel me? There, there was almost some of it, like, I didn't even realize it was wrong. You know what I'm saying? I just, well, this is kind of what's going on type of mm. thing, you know? And then later on, you just like, yo, that was evil. You know, I mean, I remember being 12 and 13 years old and having 30-year-old men shooting at you. You know what I'm saying? Because of the color you're wearing or because of you standing in front of somebody else's store and different things like that. And, and you don't really, you know, at, when you're young, it's kind of like, it's it's like the game of survival. You get caught up in the adrenaline rushes, and you know you're doing this, and you know you you're going back and forth with these dudes and all this stuff. But then when you get older and you really see the devil in these things and just the evil, you know when God reveals that stuff to you, yeah, it, it's it's you see the tragedy in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of how you, my life was. And, well, I was gonna say, were you so, were you actually banging too? Like, were you were you even, even? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got put on, you know, really young, you know, because like I said, I already had problems. You feel me? And so I went. I lived in one neighborhood that was rivals with another neighborhood that I went to school in. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm, um, I'm kind of like we end up beefing all the way to school and all the way home, you know. But uh, in the neighborhood that I went to school in. You know, that's where, like I said, I didn't have no family. So that's where that, that came into play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just the, 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 that, that, that social structure and that culture, that gang life, you know, they really, you know, especially when you're young, man, they trying to bring you in that fold. So they showed me love, you know what I'm saying? They gave me game on certain things, on how to maneuver and how to survive and, you know, this, this and that. And, and a couple of my big homies just, you know, ended up putting me on and, and uh, that's what it was, and I represented that. I mean, till I mean a few years ago, you know what I'm saying. I, even even after I gave my life to Christ, um, I still, you know, maintained my affiliation for over a decade. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Just trying to that that soul tie runs deep, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. when you've done things and you've lost things behind it. You know, it's hard to kind of just let that go. So I always thought, well, as long as I'm not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Then there's no harm in it. Mm. But then the Lord had to really, you know, he used uh, one of one of the OG uh, Damu cats, you know, from from uh, San Diego, you know. Shout out to my boy, uh, Kim David, you know what I'm saying? He actually hollered at me and really spoke, you know, and the Holy Spirit used him to kind of minister some truth to me. And God asked me this question, man. He said, 
this changed this changed my life, man, a couple of years ago. And to anybody out here who's dabbling, you know, with 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 living on both sides, this is what I want to say. You got to ask yourself this question because this is what the Lord said to me. He said, "You either gonna be a real Christian, or you're gonna be a fake blood." <sighs> because I've taken what is required of you to do this the right way. Mm. I've taken that out your heart. You're not even capable of that anymore. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So you're either going to be real for me or you're going to be fake for the world. And, you know, for a dude like me who raised how I was raised, being fake is a non-option. Yeah, you know, at least, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the worst thing. I mean, we do. all, you know, <laughs> as much as we all claim real, you know, we're all fake to some degree at some in some area of our life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Period. Yeah. I don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? We're all growing. We're all struggling. And we're all blind to some things which causes us to be you know, not 100 all the time in every area of our life. But, you know, in regards to just my character and stuff like that, no, I mean, me being a fake anything, especially for something that we didn't lost so many homies over and stuff like that. And even, you know, even now, homies still losing them, you know. So it's like this ain't nothing to play with. And it's crazy because, I, you know, I ended up having a meeting with my G homies, um, a few of them, and, and, and express my heart to them. They saluted me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they rock with me to this day, you feel me? And um, th- uh, one of them I actually baptized last year. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Right on the church. Like, I'm not even in no church, like right in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And, and he uh, rocks with me. You know, one of the other big homies just came to Christ at, at my Bible study the other day, and so, you know, we're, we're discipling him. And it's just crazy. It seems like I'm, I'm actually able to be more effective mm. now you know what I'm saying? Because um, there is no gray area. You feel me? And because I don't feel a, a sense of, of loyalty. It's a psychological thing that I didn't even realize was happening. If you associate yourself as something, or if you identify yourself as something, you naturally feel like you still owe certain things mm-hmm. to it and, you know, all of that. So now that I'm out of that, homie, and, and you know, mentally, I don't even identify myself as this. It set me free, homie, in so many areas of my life, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and yeah, I, I was gonna say, man, you 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 probably come across more genuine to them because you're clearly going a hundred percent hard body for Jesus at this point. And not saying, well, that- you know what? I, I'll say this. Yeah, yeah, I'll say this, homie, because for them, like like my homies, and and, and you know most of them. I'm the only Christian they've ever met. Right. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that to them I look fake. To them, see, see, for the church, they would be like, oh, you ain't real. Mm. But for the street, they like, homie, this dude is out here praying for us. I mean, he's, so this, this nigga, you know, he's a real Christian. You yeah. feel me? That's yeah. how they would feel. So what it, what it ended up being was it's more or less God is using me to show them the depth of how much God can actually change you. You know what I'm saying? It's yes. not that he just changes yeah. you. Oh, we don't sell dope no more. We don't bust our gun on yeah. these cats no more because of this, this, and that. It's like, no, homie, he actually gives you a new identity, mm. period. Mm. You feel me? And that's something that a man needs to know yeah. about God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Um, so, that, so that when they do start coming to him, you know, and when he does start working on them, and he begins to change that area, they understand that this is this is the point. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's this surface stuff, bro. What, what man is so focused on is just merely the fruit of what's really going on deep in the hearts of people, and God wants to deal with that. You feel what I'm saying? So it, it, it's, it's kind of showing them, man, that he really dealt with the root of issues with me, not just merely, you know, clip some fruit and then call me good. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. That's good, bro. Do you um do you um uh, let me let me ask you this man and and I've mm-hmm. never been in that life so if this is an ignorant question man excuse my ignorance bro <laughs> but but one of the things that you that you you always hear is that like once you once you start banging most of the time they won't let you out mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so, one, is yeah. that true? And two, clearly they let you out. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? 
Uh, oh, well, I mean, obviously it isn't true because, you know, I'm out. Yeah. So, and there's, there's a lot. I mean, I mean you know, I, I represent a, a gang of people, you know what I'm saying, that have come out of that life, you know, yeah. that were, were really, you know, really in it. I mean, you have people who was in it to different degrees and stuff like that, and sometimes that has a lot to do with it, too, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I would say there's different, you know, not to just give up too much game, but there's there's different organizations that have different governmental structures. You know what I'm saying? There's different, you know, codes and different things like that. I know that there are some there are some gangs that, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying, to, to consider leaving like you really playing with your life. Yeah. You know, and I've, I've ministered to cats. But, I mean, we've seen God pull cats out of, out of stuff like that, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, like, high-ranking dudes in these organizations, too, mm-hmm. that I've had, you know, meetings with that, you know what I'm saying, have ended up praying with, and now they're serving Christ. So, you know, um, I, I, I'll say this, homie, that, you know, when God's for you, homie, who could be against you? Talk about and, it. And, and even if it does kill you, so what? Yeah, we was de- if you was down to die for the wrong, homie. How much more should you be down to die for what you know is right? Yeah, you feel me? It's good. So um, that that's why I think you know when when the Holy Spirit. This is this is what I do know, bro. When the Holy Spirit really touches a man, he don't care nothing about death. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no you know perfect love casts out all fear, and God is perfect love, homie. So when He really touches you, if He's really calling you up out of that. Any threat that a man would 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 put towards you, homie, is not going to mean nothing. Yeah, like you're going to be willing. You know what I'm saying? To 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 ride that out if need be, to stand up for for what you really believe in and to exercise. You know what I'm saying? The, um um, what's really going on inside of you, bro? So, I I think a lot of people are trying to make decisions based on comfort. You know, like, oh, well, what's easier? Well, what can I, you know, what what they going to let me get away with? Like, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, homie, if God's calling you out, stand up and be a man. Don't be no punk. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really what it is. You're just being a punk. You let you letting cats punk you into something that you know is wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's good, bro. Yeah. You, um, you, um, you, a lot of cats talk about, they're making music for the quote unquote streets or whatever, or they're doing street ministry. Mm -hmm. Right. And a lot of people that say that, and this is even going back years, a lot of people that have said that historically in this Christian rap community, haven't fully been about that life, I guess is what I'm saying. And and obviously you have, you know what I'm saying? Um, But the thing that I hear from a lot of guys is they like, man, I would love to do more, street ministry evangelism but i can't figure out how to fund it because Mm -hmm. i'll go to these places man cats will love me they'll have me come out but man they won't buy cds and nobody's sewing into my ministry or i can't get a church to basically fund me as a missionary type of situation Mm -hmm. man you've been doing this for years you know what i'm saying like Mm -hmm. almost anybody i talk to on the west coast has a seven story of Stuff you've done in the <laughs> No, I'm serious, bro. Like real talk. Like has a seven story oh, yeah. about ministry that you've done. Like your reputation, it precedes you, brother, in a good way. You know, yeah. and so oh, yeah. I mean, just just talk a bit about how you've been able to do it and obviously sustain yourself and your family mm-hmm. doing this type of work, yeah. bro. Well, um l- let me make this very, very, very clear. You okay? Um where I'm at right now, you know, a lot of people might see where I'm at right now and be like, oh, that's where I want to be. You don't know what I went through to get here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not, and I'm not saying that as a cliche saying, I'm talking about, homie, you talk about, you talk about the fire, homie, you talk about hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, you know, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even suggest it, honestly. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the path that I walked, a lot of it being because of, you know, um, um, just me making certain mistakes and, and you know what I'm saying? God having to, um, you know, put me on my pockets a few times to let me know he, he's in charge. You feel me? But, um, I guess, you know, really to the best way I can answer your question is, is, um, when I was young and dumb and I cared about being a rapper, you know what I'm saying? I, I was not, that's how, how I look at it. Rap is a tool, yep. right? But, but we're supposed to be building a house. You feel me? 
And so what happens is, is we end up wanting to use the tool that glorifies us the most, the mm. tool that makes us look the best. Mm. So let's say that, you know, you swing a hammer better than anybody in town. Well, then naturally, homie, you're going to always want to use the hammer when it's time to grab a tool. But what if it's time to start sawing? What if it's time to measure some wood? You know what I'm saying? Like, that hammer, it, it doesn't serve that function. So you're not able to do what you're supposed to do because you won't step away from this tool and use another tool that's equally as effective, but it just doesn't get you the same glory because it might not be what people know you as and stuff like that. And the Lord showed me, he's like, yo, son, I've given you all different types of means of providing income for yourself. Mm. But you just keep in your arrogance, you know what I'm saying, and in your, your, your just stubbornness, you keep trying to pick fruit out of this one tree right here when I got all this other food over here for you to eat, this one's not in season right now. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Yep. And so I had to really begin to explore, you know, all the opportunities that God has placed before me, all the relationships that I have, and, and what that could open the doors that that could open up, not to rap, but to just minister the gospel. You know what I'm saying? I had a young, you know, young homie who. We helped him with his, his music. And let me say this. Most of, most of the cats, homie, that's talking about all they want to do is ministry are lying to you only because they're already lying to themselves. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If all you wanted to do was ministry, you could go across the street to the liquor store in your local community and preach the gospel and pass out tracts and pray for people and go home feeling completely fulfilled at the end of the day. Oh, that's good. If you're that's right. all you're about. You they really me? just want to rap. Well, no, what it is is, you know, I, I had a pastor not too long ago sit down with me, and he's like, man, sir, you know, you be feeding the homies, you guys be doing all this stuff. We're trying to figure out how, how to feed the homies. And I said, homie, you're not trying to figure out how to feed the homies. You know how to feed them. How do you feed yourself? When you're hungry, you make yourself some food, and you some food, and you consume it. So we understand the concept of feeding hungry people because we do it every day for ourselves. I said, your problem is that you don't know how to get famous doing it. That's why you ain't doing it yet, mm. because that's the that's what you're still trying to figure out. Is not only how can we do this, but how can we do it so big that other people notice it and either want to get involved or want to go tell our story. Wow! But that's not the true heart of of Christ. You feel what I'm saying? Why don't you just go? You know what I'm saying? Why don't you stop worrying about how to make this and fund this into some huge world changing movement? And why don't you plant your water and let God bring the increase? That's good. You, you dig what I'm saying? That's good. And that's the model that I have taken from my own life. Bro, I, I did this for 12 years homeless. No budget, no nothing. Mm. You feel me? No support, getting hated on, you know what I'm saying, all kind of stuff. And, you know, for some some things I could understand why people had an issue with me. I had an issue with me in a lot of areas <laughs> of my life. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. You know, but, but, but even and still, you know, God was still using us, and, and we were still being very, very effective in what we were doing. But now what it is is, homie, I'm like, dog, I don't be on the Internet like that, homie. You know what I'm saying? I don't be, you don't see me on Facebook, you know, like doing a million posts. or I, I don't even have a Twitter, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, it's like that's not part of my personality. And what I know is, is if I just stay faithful to what God wants me to do, homie, He's going to take me where he wants me to go. And I've been doing this long enough to know that where he wants me to go is the only place I ever want to be. Because I don't care how beneficial something is, homie, to my pockets or to my social status. If God, if it's not where God wants me, homie, eventually this thing is going to take me somewhere that I don't want to go. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I've just learned, I've, I've done this long enough to understand the value of remaining in God's will only. Even if that means that I'm only at a certain level. Because people used to tell me all the time, man, if you just change your music, if you just stop saying this, if you just start saying that, you could go so much further. I'd be like, yo, but you guys are assuming that I want to go further. I don't care nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be what God wants me to be. Yeah. 
if I got to stop being real to who I am and real to the way God made me and real to this culture so I can go talk to these people who may got some money, but I don't want to talk to the people with money. I want to talk to the people who are broke. You know what I'm saying? And, homie, God funds this thing, bro, like real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really be be putting things together. He be sending, you know, at the end of the month, homie, phone calls come through, opportunities show up, where it's like, we don't even really have to worry about stuff like that. Like, you know, we, for even the, the, the missions trip, you know, we're doing a fundraiser, but I promise you this, homie, whether people give or not, homie, we're going to go and it's going to be successful because this is God's will. I just, I just be trying to give people the opportunity to, to participate in what the Father's doing. You know what I'm saying? Since so many people say that that's what they want to do. Yeah. But, you know, when it's time to really do it, you you, you learn quick, homie, that that ain't really what most people are about, bro. So mm. You know, mm. it's sad, too, because people don't realize what they're missing out on, man. It's this vain pursuit, you know what I'm saying, where you, it got you living your life constantly, feeling like you don't have enough, and constantly, you know what I'm saying, wanting more this insatiable appetite of your flesh that you can never feel, homie, all it does is produce torment and, and um, dissatisfaction in your life. But if you would just rest in the gospel, make sure, you know, find your identity in Christ, not in how many views you got on YouTube or, you know what I'm saying, how, many, how much money is in your bank account, bro, you would have such a better quality of life. You feel me? Yep. It's like the homies that sell dope in the turf. It's like, y'all... Dude, y'all risking your life and poisoning your own people to get money so you can feel the same way God makes me feel when I wake up every day. Mm. God wants to cut out all the drama. He wants to cut out the middleman. This, 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 you know what I'm saying? These things that you're pursuing, this so-called human success and, and you know, success and so-called ministry and all this stuff that a lot of people are pursuing, it's really just because they're trying to fill a void that they have. But if they would just really give it all the price, I mean, he'd make them wake up feeling confident. You wouldn't need all of this stuff for that. Man, that's deep, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's deep. So, it's deep, man. How did, uh, how did you and Bizzle link up, man? Um, I'd be lying if I could honestly say I remember <laughs> how we initially, you know, I got, man, I'm, I'm, I'm no, you know, I, oh, I OD, homie, and messed my brain up bad as far as, so my memory is, is like messed up, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even laughed at that then. <laughs> no, it was good, I laughed, I mean, you know, you losing your keys enough and starts getting funny, but that's um, What's it called? I really don't remember our initial conversation. You know, I know that that um, when we first met, you know what I'm saying. Um, a guy put it on my heart to to kind of like I saw a lot of my, me in him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I also knew that what that meant. Like I knew that it could potentially he could potentially make a lot of mistakes if he didn't have anybody looking out for him, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yep. But he could also, what, what could also happen is he could potentially become very jaded and bitter because what I do know about this so-called Christian audience that we have is while you're giving them what they want, it's palm branches and, yo, cheerleading, you know what I'm saying? But as soon as, homie, you make a mistake or as soon as, you know what I'm saying? You say something people don't necessarily agree with. Now your entire, you know, walk with Christ is in question. And you know what I'm saying? You ain't who you're supposed to be and all this other stuff. You know, it's just stones, bro. You know, we go, that's that's how it is, bro. It's palm branches and, and, and crosses, I mean, You know what I'm saying? So um, I didn't want to see that happening to him. You know, too many of, of these young cats, man, are coming into this game and being praised way too quickly for things that they haven't necessarily even done yet. You know what I'm saying? And so, so what's happening is the platform and it, it is being put under a lot of brothers like too soon because it happened with me. As soon as I got born again, bro, I'm on tour. Mm. You feel me? Like maybe less than a year later. Wow. I didn't know nothing about nothing. And you wasn't ready for You know what it. I'm saying? Uh, I mean, who is? That's, like, that's just the thing, bro. It's like being a... Like being a young parent, homie, or, or getting married when you when you're sixteen. I mean, who's married? Who's ready for that? Who's ready? You feel me? Yeah. No one. You know. So, um, I think that happened to a lot of us. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, even if you look at the way the game goes now, it's like, you know, you got the new hot kid and everyone's dumping money and throwing opportunities at him and, and basically trying to make him the mascot for gospel rap. But has this dude even really been tested by the fire for these things that y'all are throwing at him? How can you entrust a child with these things? And the Bible talks about that in First Timothy, how foul that is, because you're setting these people up for destruction. You know what I'm saying? What about the cats who've been doing this faithfully for over a decade, for 15 years, 20 years? You know what I'm saying? Who, all because they ain't got the hot single out, they're not the ones cats is really tripping on. Yeah, but their ministry is authentic. Mm. You feel me? They've stood the test of time. They're what these cats rap about. You feel me? Yeah. So when when that 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 was my fear, you know, for 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 my bro, you know, I really Bizzle is really my brother. You know what I'm saying? So so um, uh, I just God put that in my heart to really like be that big brother to him and 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 to just be for him what what what, what nobody was to me. You know what I'm saying? As far as like I made mistakes and cats abandoned me. You know, or, or or just, or maybe I acted in a way to where they couldn't stand with me. You know, I was young. I don't really understand it, but it is what it is. But now it's like with me and him, I'm just, I'm just here to support him. You know, I'm proud of him. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I've seen the growth. You know, I mean, anybody with eyes to see has seen how he was and what, and the manner in which he, he got his, his message across when he first came in the game, you know what I'm saying, has matured greatly to now. You know what I'm saying? And all praise do to the father for that. Yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm just, like I said, homie, it's, it's our relationship. You know, that's, he's, he's a close friend, but more than that, bro, he, you know, I consider him my brother and in any way that I can ever, you know what I'm saying? Support what he's doing and stand with him, you know, uh, uh, um, through the good, bad and the ugly, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're here for, bro. This is it, it. With me and mine, homie, this rap thing, you know, we we could stop doing this today, as far as I'm concerned. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's it's really about that brotherhood. I want to see my brothers, homie. Um, you know, and walking in the fullness of Christ. Yeah, I, I really don't care. You know, it, it, and if in that they become su- successful rappers, then praise God. You know what I'm saying? But if we have to do one sacrifice, one for the other, no, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm I'm, I'm never with with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You uh you got a you got a new record coming out Tuesday, right? Uh yeah, yeah. Uh the Pray for My Hood album, you know what I'm saying? That what we kinda going on this tour for um is is coming out and we uh we really looking forward to it, bro. Like like I said, man, we when I put the album together, it was this is this is strictly, you know, for the street, like period. You know, I'm not saying I don't want Christians to support it, but it's ain't, ain't for y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, so don't expect, don't expect that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of where God has me right now. Homie, I'm, I'm in my neighborhood. If I'm in town, I'm in the hood, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm seeing what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the, the, the puddles of blood on the ground from the shootings and the You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's so cracking right now, bro. And and it's more. It's just so much letting me know how much our people need this, bro. And it's just sad because when you look at where most of the resources are going to, it's just to make people celebrities, not necessarily to save souls. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And we're gonna be, you know, bro. We're gonna die, homie. Like we're gonna be held accountable. We're gonna stand before God and have to answer these for these things. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, me personally, I, I don't want to sell a ticket, homie. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do nothing like, like, and and I'm not knocking anybody that does that because this is something too I've learned. You don't know another person's situation. Some of these cats got like staff. That yeah. they have to pay, you know what I'm saying. So, of yeah. course, you know you got to be bringing money in, and, and 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 they have to be good stewards of what God has given them. So I'm not never trying to compare what I do to someone else's and be like, oh well, because I do it this way, then the way they doing it is wrong. I'm not necessarily saying that. God knows the heart, and they know their heart. And yo, know, if you're doing this for you, homie, stop it and repent and get it right. You feel me? 
But as far as for where God's put me at, bro, with these people that's out here on me, these crackheads ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? These these, these homeless people can't afford that. You know what I'm saying? These, these single mothers don't even have a whip. So how are they going to get to the show? So it's like, you know, we just want to bring it to them right where they're at, bro. And so um, while people are supporting the album online, you know, behind that, bro, I'm pressing up, you know, thousands and tens, you know, thousands of these things, bro, and trying to give them away for free in the ghettos all over the country because I want people to know that God loves them. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you actually do that as a part of the tour, right? You, like, you give away a certain amount at each one of these stops, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's you know, that's not the... Once again, it's just another tool. You know, I understand that this music is incredibly um, powerful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it speaks to the condition. You know, and like you said before, you know, you got, you do, you got a lot of cats in this that's rapping about, you know, I mean, you know, you're in the church rapping about how you reach the street. Feel me? Um... But you know, let's keep it real, man. Most of these dudes ain't from the street, right? You know, I don't care. I don't care how they dress. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how much you know hip hop lingo they may have. You know, most of these guys ain't really from this life. You know, so they don't have that that passion. You know what I'm saying? And and if God ain't called them to that, then they don't need to be out here. But they also don't don't need to be feeling like they need to lie about it either. Like, you know, do what God's called you to do and stand up and be bold about that. If he ain't called you to these streets, man, then don't come. But don't say you coming either. You feel me? So I feel like, you know, with, with us, it's just that's what God's called us to. And so we want to make sure that we're piloting and, and, and painting pictures and making our music in such a way that speaks directly to the culture. I'm not trying to be, you know, accepted by mainstream Christianity and reach the streets at the same time, because I've learned a long time ago, homie, that you can't, you, 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 nowadays, with the way people think, you know what I'm saying, and, and with the, the judgmental mentality that most people have, you can't do both. You know what I'm saying? So I have to be willing to, you know, uh, I guess rub this person the wrong way in maybe some of the ways that I speak or, or in some of the ways that I move in order to be effective to this person who's going to hell. Like, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm willing to, to uh, you know, I guess offend someone who's going to heaven to save someone who's going to hell. I got you. I guess that's the way that I could put it. I got you. It's a lot of maturity in that, yeah. man. It 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 took you a little while to come to that, huh? Oh yeah, man. It took me three because you know what it was was it, it was producing torment in my life because for so long I was trying to do both. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For so long I was trying to be this guy that you know. Once again, homie, still going back to that little kid, bro, who never had a family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, and, and no disrespect, you're like, yeah, I had a family, I had, you know, I had a mother, a father, I had a little brother, you know, a little sister and stuff like that. But I mean, like that big family, you know, that everyone had growing up, like we never had that, you know? So just that, that feeling of community, you even coming over here to the, to the body of Christ, like I still wanted that, you know? And so when they're telling you, you got to do things a certain way, on one hand, you want to do that, but then it seems like, well, no matter what I do, it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? And and in me pleasing y'all, my people don't even know me no more. Wow. You know what I'm saying? My people don't even relate to what I'm talking about. Wow. So I had to get back to why did I even start doing this in the first place, homie? Was it to sell records or was it to save souls? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And so I just snapped it God, And it wasn't even me, honestly, homie. The Holy Spirit slapped me in my jaw last year like... You know, I've been kind of like understanding it, but I mean, I'm talking about making it plain as day to where the decision is made and it's firmly made that from now on I'm doing what God tells me to do and I don't care who got nothing to say about it. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, it is what it is. I mean, if everybody right now said, you know what, we we don't want to buy his, his music because, you know, he's not presenting it the way we want it presented. Like I said, homie, unless I'm violating scripture, I feel like they don't really have a leg to stand on. It's just personal preference, and your personal preference doesn't define sin. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be careful with that. Yeah. You dig? Yeah. So I'm just kind of moving. I'm, I'm just being who God called me to be, bro. That's the best way that I could put it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I and I hope that people have the maturity to, and the patience 
to, to, to step back for a second, reserve judgment for when this fruit starts blooming. You know what I'm saying? And once that happens, homie, you then 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 make your decision on whether what we're doing is just uh, you know what I'm saying, the right or the wrong thing to do. And I think people are if, if anybody who hangs around us and sees the fruit, you know, it's not just. I mean, souls are being saved. I mean, not just not just at, at. I'm not talking about events. I'm talking about in the street. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like cats are coming up out of that lifestyle and walking with Christ because of what we're doing. Yeah. So, I mean, what can you say? Hey, so seven man. Um, I know this has been like kind of a topic of discussion for many, many years, even mm-hmm. before me and you got in the Christian rap game, and uh, yeah, you've probably even suffered some persecution as some respects because of this man but just you know 2015 man just your thoughts on this whole christian rapper title bro mm-hmm. um i mean first of all i think we need to as a, if we're gonna be trying to kill people over it we need to first define what it really means you know what i'm saying because i think a lot of times it's like we have we have such an outrageous standard um for that term in terms of just just artistry you know what i'm saying over here that we don't really have on anybody else like okay if 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 i'm a if i'm a christian you know and and i and i paint do all my paintings have to be paintings you know what i'm saying that depict the gospel and stuff like that and if i don't do that or and 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 i stand up and tell people that i'm a christian are you now going to say oh you're not a christian because you painted a picture of a tree and you know what i'm saying and jesus wasn't hanging on it you feel me? So I, I think that it's like it's kind of hard it, to to really define. Like I look at this, for me personally, I feel like if a person is calling themselves a gospel rapper, and basically what you're saying is that in my music, you can expect to be pointed to Christ. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. In what I do, you feel me? So I feel like when people are using that title. And then not living up to that, then yeah, I could understand why you know if, if someone would have a problem with that. Even, even you know what I'm saying. But then there's also there's there's different ways to point people to Christ. Like there's only one way to God, but there's many ways to Christ. You see what I'm saying? And what I mean when I say that is this: it's like I used to do music where I would talk about what I was going through, and I would be crying out to God in doing that. It's like like in the Bible, like you see the Book of Psalms. David is, like, crying out to God half the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm languishing, you know, asking God to kill people. I mean, all this kind of stuff. And it's funny because when he does that, when he displays that broken heart towards the Lord and what he's going through personally, you know, we give him the credit as being a godly man. I mean, it's one of the most famous books in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? But yet it's like nowadays if people were to do that, you almost say, like, that they're somehow less... Christian or less gospel mm. because they're personally crying out to God and that they don't have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in this specific song. You know what I'm saying? But I still am, but, but I, I might be, you might catch me doing a song of the, in a moment of repentance. And I'm trying to reach out to people who are at this broken point of their life. You yeah. feel me? Because when I was at a broken place in my life, that's where a lot of people that know me know me from that because that's what they was going through too. And now we've all kind of grown from there and now there's more victory in the music or whatever the case may be. But I think that because of maybe a distorted view of what we feel, it's, I mean, and it's not just, let's, let's, let's take it beyond this. People have the same view of Christianity, period. Not just Christian music, but Christianity, period. Mm. We, have, we, 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 we have an image that we feel like a Christian is supposed to appear in, and if they don't do that, then we say that they're not real. But is that not the exact same reason why they nail Christ to the cross? It's because he, though he was the Messiah, he was the real deal, and his fruit proved it because he did not come in the image, you know what I'm saying, in the way, and he didn't talk or have the personality that they expected somebody in, of, of his you know, position to come in, they rejected him completely. And, you know what I'm saying, what a tragedy that was, because they had an opportunity to actually walk with the real deal, and they rejected it. Rejected. You feel me? So I just think that, that we need to be very careful 
once again, is what is the what are we saying when we say, oh, this is gospel music? Well, then what is the gospel really? You know what I'm saying? Because what the gospel truly is and what most people think it is isn't even the same thing. Mm. So now you got people who don't understand the gospel trying to define what its music should look like or sound like. Yeah. And I think that's very dangerous. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, and, and I, I, I want to bring this up because it's because of this, you know, my understanding of this and because I've experienced these things. You know what I'm saying? Now, now let me be very, you know, uh, 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 bold in what I'm going to say. I am a Christian man. You know what I'm saying? And I am a gospel artist. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I, everything I do at this point is to, you know, point people to Christ. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to step away from the gospel to go make a commercial song that might get radio play so I can make some money to, that's just not me. I'm not going to do that. And it's not because I feel like if I do that, I'm less than a Christian. It's because my own personal conviction, I'm not going to sit around and put time and effort and money into doing nothing other than producing products that point people directly to Jesus Christ as long as I'm here on earth. That's me. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with my walk with Christ. Yeah. I'm not saying nothing about anybody else. That's me personally. You feel me? But um, I also do want to say this, that when you have a mass majority of people claiming something that they don't even really understand completely, you know what I'm saying? We're always going to have major communication issues or, 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 or um you know, debates or, or even, and unfortunately, those debates are going to turn into division. You know what I'm saying? The Bible even talks about that, which is why, for me personally, I've made it a point to make sure that I'm also trying to disciple the audience that God has given me, which is why mm. I put out Bible study curriculums with all my music now. Like, I don't, you know, I, I may be wrong, but as far as I know, I think I'm, I'm like, you know, one of the only, the only one doing that right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think but that right now, came I think, from. I think, uh, uh, I think Reach did that with 13 letters like a while ago, but it wasn't free. Okay, I mean, it was, yeah, it, it, you know, yeah. So, yeah. Well, well, what I'm trying to do is every time from now on, you know, until the Lord takes me home, anytime I ever produce a musical body of work, it's going to come with a curriculum. Yeah. You know, that's just something you can expect from me from this point on. And I'm actually building a discipleship school right now. Because what I'm understanding is, is that, you know, we got a bunch of people cheerleading and, and social media, because it gives everybody the opportunity to speak, it also gives everybody the opportunity to sound stupid. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It also gives everybody the opportunity to misspeak. You feel me? And to and to and to um, spread opinion that they're quoting as if it's scripture. You dig? And so um, I feel like you know, as as a body of Christ, and especially in this culture, you know what I'm saying? Like we really need to make sure that we're doing the best we can to make sure that people are being discipled properly, so that we can correct a lot of these misunderstandings that are occurring because you have so much of this generation that's just their only experience with, with the gospel is gospel rap. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's not good enough. Mm. I don't care who you listen to. You feel me? Or, or their, you know, their only experience with ministry is a gospel rap show. You feel me? The turn up fests and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's, it's, but, but in terms of the actually going outside and, and grinding and sacrificing and, and blood, sweat, and tears required of us, you know what I'm saying, as disciples of Jesus Christ, you know, um, to save this lost and dying world, like most people have never participated in that. You feel me? True. So, so I, I think it's very easy to, to major on minors, you know, when, when, when you're not really fully involved and fully engaged in these things. And I'll say this, you know, for everybody, like, I'm, I'm involved in this thing, and I'll say this right now, homie, the gospel rap industry is one of the fakest things I've ever seen in this world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight up. Yep. You know, some of the fakest people I've ever met in this world, you know, are people that claim Christian. 
Yeah. So, you know, these titles don't make you real, just like, you know, uh, 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 being a husband, you know, the title husband don't mean you love your wife. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I, I think I think that, that before we're trying to, you know, throw these titles on things and stuff like that, like, let's make sure that the character, you know, that we have is something to where if somebody met us, they would call us that. You know, like I said, the same way that, that, that the original term Christian grew was not because Christians were walking around bragging about how Christian they were. You know what I'm saying? And how like Christ they were. No, they were living like Christ, and people who were familiar with how Christ was and what he did looked at them and said, you know what, y'all, y'all look like Christ. And they called him that, or because they believed in him, you know what I'm saying, to a point to where it was like they just gave him the title really to make fun of him, but now, you know, we, we use it as a badge of, of, of honor. Term you of feel me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't us. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't us doing that for ourselves. And I think now you have a lot of that. You know, you've got a lot of rappers that, if you listen to their music, you, you're basically just bragging your, your, about how Christian you are mm. for the rest of the world. Mm. You feel me? Instead of, you, you don't hear a lot of the conviction or the pain. It's just pride. You know what I'm saying? With a, with a Christian T-shirt on. So, you know, I just think we, we need to just be, be more careful and more conscious about what this really is all about and what the potential is for this tool, for this culture that's out here literally slaughtering, committing genocide upon each other for no reason at all other than that they lost in sin. And we have this tool right here that they'll actually listen to if we package it right for them. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, bro. So... You putting this project out Tuesday. Um, I know you got it up on Bandcamp. Will it be in iTunes and Amazon? Mm-hmm. And... Hopefully everywhere. I got you. <laughs> so be, so <laughs> yeah, man. New project this this Tuesday, April twenty eighth, will be everywhere. Pray for my hood tour. All types of places this summer, man. Um, Information is on your website, right? Yeah, anybody that wants to know where we're going to be, you know what I'm saying, and, and all of that, just go to uh, hogmob.com, H-O-G-M-O-B.com, click the tour tab, and you can basically scroll down and, you know, see all the different cities and places we're going to be. Um, the information's being updated constantly because, you know, we're we're picking up new venues and stuff, so you might want to just check it, like, once a week, you know, once every two weeks, just to make sure that uh, a neighbor, you know, a park or a neighborhood hasn't changed or whatever. Um, and also if you want to give, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can go click the donate tab, you know, you feel me like all of that money, 100% of that money, man, goes to this missions trip. You know, I ain't taking nothing out of nothing. So, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, anyway, you know, if you want to come and serve, man, show up and just let us know, yo, I want to serve and, and, you know, hopefully we'll have some, some work. I'm sure we will. There's going to be a lot going on, but, um. Yeah, man, I, I just want to let you know, bro, you know, I know we haven't had an opportunity to really build or talk much, man, but I appreciate what you're doing. You know, you've been around for a minute, too, you know what I'm saying? And I know it ain't easy, you feel me? And I know that uh, this, especially the way things are looking, things can get real discouraging, you know, when you have a vision for stuff and you see things kind of taking the turn of what, what may seem for the worst. But, you know, for everybody out there, man, let's just remember, homie, that God is sovereign. And he's in control. And we already know how this ends. So let's all this fear and this worrying and about government and, and who's doing this and who's doing that. Man, at the end of the day, homie, Christ is on that throne. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So focus on what he got you doing and be excellent at that. You feel me? Get off the Internet and go outside and live your life. You know what I'm saying? And be a blessing to a real person. You feel me? Straight up. That's real, bro. Seven, man. Appreciate you, brother. You too, homie. God bless you, man. And uh, anytime, man. On the way to radio show. On the way to radio. On the way to radio show. Where's much more music? It's ministry.